Today we're going to talk about free domains. Now there are two providers I go to for my domains, but I'm going to preface this with saying if you're trying to build the next Fortune 500 company, do not use these free domains. You're going to be making millions of dollars with your brilliant idea, so probably go ahead and drop the $12 for an, a legitimate domain that you have full control over. You are subject to th these companies' terms of service. If you do something on either of these two platforms, they will just Thanos you right off the platform. Having said that, for experimental projects, personal projects, or just a chance to learn and play, these things are really awesome. Um, and these are the two that I recommend the most for those kind of projects. Okay, so today we're going to go over some of the free domain systems you can use. Um, these are the two that I recommend, um, but you've got to keep in mind why you would use these particular systems. So the first one is DuckDNS. DuckDNS is a pretty safe bet. It works really good, it's very reliable. Everyone I've ever known who's used it has had almost no problem with it. Um, the nice thing about it is DuckDNS um, gives you uh, five, five domains that you can use for free, if you don't mind the .duckDNS uh, subdomain. But as you can see on this little test I did right here, um, HTTPS works flawlessly, I'm using Let's Encrypt on my Vesta install, and that works really good. The other one is a, looks a little bit better, gives you a little bit more flexibility, but I've heard of people having problems where they actually use this for something production where other people use it, and then it got too popular, and then suddenly their website was gone and replaced with advertising. So again, take this if you are ready to like be pivotable you know you can change directions in a minute that's great but definitely don't run a business I'm talking about Freenom Freenom has several domains so for example do like you know domain check um, but out of the box their free domains are .tk .ml .ga .cf and .gq so I was able to snag tacotime.gq and this is a this is a real top level domain that's completely free you have to use it for 12 I mean you can get, you can re register it for up to 12 months and after that you have to renew it manually you have to go into the settings and be like um, where duck DNS as long as you're using it they'll, they'll let it little they'll let it run you can set it once and forget it but freenom they want you to be on it. You can pay money to not have to do it again. And of course they sell regular domains too. But again, this gives you pretty close to a, a full website. Um, this is tacotime.gq. I'm probably going to run my next cloud instance on this or something similar to it uh, because that's funny. I like fun names. Um, so those are the two I recommend. Outside of that, I would say go with a traditional register. Uh, I hear good things about Namecheap. I think it's like 11 bucks per year for most domains. Um, but if you need to save a little bit of money or you're just doing something that's more experimental, you're playing, you want to learn, these are both really good options. Well, I hope this helps you uh, get a bit of understanding of free domains. The free options are out there. Again, Remember, you are at the mercy of these companies. So that's it for this week, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.